Hello students, Doing another screencast here. This one's going to be about modifying type for things like logos and graphics in Adobe Illustrator. Right now I'm experiencing some technical difficulties. Ah, there we go. Okay, so what I have here is just the word super fresh set up, super fresh body wash, kind of some watery colors, looks very feminine, and very fun, except it's kind of boring, right? I mean, it's just a word in blue and then a small two words in purple. Uh, we're going to have some fun making this a little bit better. First thing I always like to do when I use type is I select my type and over here in the character panel this is the kerning and it's auto by default. I want to set mine to optical. I always do that. I always do that unless I have a mono width font which we're not going to get into right now. So I got that. I'm going to nudge this over a little bit so it's better aligned with this right edge of the edge. Now body wash, I want to track that out. So what I'm going to do is click on that you can see that it's right aligned. On the paragraph, I can see that I've right aligned it. I'm going to go to the character menu panel instead of the tracking. I'm going to set this out to 100 to see what that looks like. That looks better, but it's still not enough space. I'm going to go to 200. That looks much better. And notice that since the right aligned, it's growing from the right side out. So I don't have to worry about realigning it now. So you can see that it looks a lot better. It looks more open and more friendly. Now, super fresh right here. I want to do some kind of crazy things with the P and the H. Okay, uh, let's have a little fun with them. So what I'm going to do, I want to pull the legs down on the P, and pull this arm up on the H. But I can't do that right now, it's editable text. And if I make them big or small, it'll just look weird. So I'm going to select it like this. Then I'm going to go to the type menu, create outline through control shift O something I do a million times a day. Click on this, and now what you'll notice is that there's path and anchor points around all these letters. What happened is it took those letters from editable text to be just shapes. And now I can play with these shapes the same way I could with any other shapes in Adobe Illustrator. Now when I do control shift all lines, one thing you have to remember is it groups them, because it thinks you want to keep them together. In this case, um, that's fine. So I'll leave them as one group. Now what I want to do is I want to take super and change the color. So I'm going to grab my white arrow tool, direct selection tool, select just over these letters, super. And I'm going to eye drop that on that purple color because I like that a lot. And that looks nice. I'm going to go back to my white arrow. And like I said, I want to pull the leg down on the P and raise the arm up in the H. Let's do that. I'm going to use my white arrow and notice I'm drag selecting just over the bottom where I want to pull from. Not the whole letter, just the bottom. I select. Notice these anchor points are blue in the bottom. The ones I selected, the ones that I'm not selected are white. So I'll take this. Once they're selected like this, hold down on them, and then hold Shift on the keyboard. You can drag it straight down like this, in a straight line. If I don't hold Shift, it might get all wonky. So I'm gonna hold Shift to go straight down. Just a little bit like that. I'm gonna do the same thing over here with the H. Drag select with the white arrow, just the top part of the letter and pull it up, straight up, just like that. Why might I want to do that? I don't know, just to play around with it. You'll have much better reasons for your logos when you're working on them. Other things I could do, I could just grab just the, uh, just the foot here and drag that really far like that. And do the same thing in the H, just the foot, and drag that really far like that. So now this logo is really starting to take shape. It's really becoming custom, it's not just a font anymore. It's really becoming something unique that I want it to be. I want to get really crazy. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this as well to type menu create outlines. Hold shift and grab that. I'm going to right click and group them. And then I'm going to go to effect warp arc. See all different warp options. 50% is kind of a lot. I'm going to change it down to 15 click preview to see if that's what I like and notice a little wonky because the paths are there showing what text looking like. I'm going to hit OK and there we go super fresh body wash. I just clicked off so I didn't bother to see if it's a pass anymore super fresh body wash it's much more custom and I couldn't do that without converting things to outlines first hope you enjoyed it, hope you can now play along, have a lot of fun uh, with your letters, dealing with them as simply shapes love you all Goodbye.